Hello beautiful souls, welcome to the Heart Space. This is Andrea. Thank you so much for joining me today. This reading was supposed to be an Aries reading. Spirit stopped me in my tracks and told me that there is a message that needs to get out right now. There will be at least one person that needs to hear this guidance, this message. This is a tough subject, by the way. I kept hearing should I stay or should I go. For those of you who are going to resonate with this message, you are at a crossroads. You may be thinking to leave a relationship, a toxic, unhealthy relationship, or, or there is a toxic workplace that you are being called to release, you are being called to exit. I also heard that you are finally ready to face a challenge that you've been avoiding for a while. Okay, so let's get into the spread. This seems very significant. I'm going to use, I've been getting to use the Lantern Oracle. Spirit, what needs to be said? We have voice. You're here to be known, so speak and be seen. You may be having some issues expressing your needs, expressing your truth. Spirit is calling you to use your voice. Spirit is asking you and is helping you to find the courage to speak your truth, to express what is within your soul, within your heart. False beliefs. Once the untruths that we believe about ourselves are illuminated, so are the ways we can release the false limitations they confine us to. There are a lot of untruths that we are all holding on regarding ourselves, regarding our limitations, regarding our conditioning. We need to be able to transcend those limitations. We need to be able to see ourselves as powerful as divine light, as a fragment of source. When we start seeing ourselves as the creators, we can then start peeling all these uh, false system belief layers that we are so confined into. So learn about yourself. Allow your intuition to come through. Um, meditate, sit in stillness, try to understand where all these fears, traumas, conditionings and false system beliefs where they started being programmed into your mind, into your lifestyle. And then the third, 28, moving forward. The first step is taken within our stillness. How beautiful. I feel that the message in this card is the fact that most of the times when we take the action to do something that was extremely difficult, we have been hearing the call. We have been hearing this voice, right? Our inner self, our higher self. If now you are deciding to move away from something that has been unhealthy, it's because for a long time you have been pondering about it. Your higher self has been talking to you uh, subconsciously in your dreams and so on. Moving forward, you are moving forward, there is no doubt about it, and you are moving forward using your voice, using your courage and your lioness heart, I heard, to really step into a more genuine, happy life. Okay, I heard that for some of you, uh, from the outside, your life may seem perfect, okay, or uh, let's say, for example, that everybody is telling you, oh my god, you know, your relationship seems so perfect. Like, you guys never fight, you are so, you're so uh, connected to each other. But it's just, what are you guys conveying from the outside? And the fact of the matter is that you are having a very unhealthy relationship in your intimate private space. What all these energies are telling me is that something in your life is becoming increasingly unhealthy and needs to be addressed. Should I stay or should I go, right? There's a lot of uh, stress and anxiety that I feel in this energy, but also this stress and anxiety I feel like is the catalyst into you really looking at yourself and saying enough is enough. You finally saying, hey, 
I need to have this difficult conversation with this person. I need to be able to move away from this. This is no longer making me happy. This is no longer feeding my peace. And so I need to move forward. I got it. And look at that, you're not alone. You see the bird here with you. This is your spirit guides guiding you, guiding you towards the sun. Let me just get two more cards from the Shaman's Dream Oracle. What else, spirit guides? What else? Cosmic Womb, the Divine Feminine. You have to balance uh, the Divine Feminine in your life. The Divine Feminine has to do a lot with your intuition. It has to do with how receptive you are to this Divine Feminine side, um, how much kindness you receive in your life, how much respect. For some of you, if you're a fixed sign, creating major changes in your life must be extremely difficult for you. Okay, one more. Thank you. Beautiful. Vanishing mirror. Ego, sublimation, Somebody, I feel like somebody is coming from a very shadowy ego. It may be your partner, it may be somebody you're uh, connected to. Spirit is asking you to step out of your comfort zone, to allow this self-centeredness to vanish, okay? And to, and to be able to work with your ego in a very balanced way. I feel like somebody's shadowy ego is coming out very often in a relationship, in a particular situation here. Somebody may have some anger issues here. That's what I'm getting. You have a lot of support for whoever I'm reading this message. You have a lot of support, not only from your family and friends, but also from your spirit guides. You are not lost, you are not alone. Very important message here, okay? All right, let's get into the spread. I just want to get the most important message that you need to hear right now. Should I stay or should I go, right? Let's see. Two of Swords, the crossroads. There you are. The crossroads looking in the mirror, trying to make sense of things, trying to, trying to hold on to things that are no longer meant to stay in your life. Oh, okay. So, you're being called to reflect on your life's direction right now. That's exactly what the Two of Swords is about. There is a voice inside you, beautiful souls, that I feel like you keep ignoring. Even in stillness, I feel like you keep ignoring. You need to listen to that voice. It's your true self. It's your higher self. It's your intuition. We'll clarify this message, this card. Let's keep going. What's coming to an end in your energy? Nine of Cups. Putting yourself first. I feel like you have been always trying to make everybody else happy. And you lost your identity in the middle of it. Ask yourself, what truly makes you happy? What truly makes you happy? Do you have that thing in your life? Are you striving to get that thing? It's time to prioritize your happiness. Extremely important. What is the blind spot, Spirit Guides? What are you not able to see? Eight of Cups ready to pack in your baggages, ready to go, ready to take on this new journey, this new path, moving towards Nine of Cups, which fulfillment, happiness, true happiness, and the chariot. Wow! I heard that Spirit is pushing you into taking this chariot, into moving away from this experience that's no longer healthy in your life. The chariot is cancer energy. Um, this is the sign of motherhood, home and family life. You are moving away from some kind of a partnership, 
The chariot is movement, the chariot is alignment, the chariot is action, is travel. The chariot is this big helping hand that is now available to you. Wow. I'm getting for some of you, of course, uh, that you are a mother or a father and that throughout this uh, challenging situation you may have to move away from your child for a hot minute, okay? And that is probably one of the reasons you are still in this Two of Swords. What's the obstacle? What's the obstacle? Three of Wands is the obstacle. Interesting. There's this tree and then instead of the branches, we have clouds, dark clouds. I feel like you have a lot on your mind and uh, Spirit is asking you to tap into your intuition, to tap into your heart because there is where you're going to get the clarity that you need in this situation. Three of Wands is expansion, it's seeing things from different perspectives, it's seeing things from both sides, I heard. I'm getting a lot of disrespect here in, uh, in a connection that you are in and unkindness. I keep hearing disrespect and unkindness. I feel that for some of you, you keep excusing this person. That's what I'm getting. What's the advice for you guys? Eight of Wands, take action. Have the courage to move on from the situation. Should I stay or should I go? Spirit says it's time for you to go. Eight of Wands is also communication. If you have to have this difficult conversation with this person, it's time for you to have it. It's time for you to use your voice. Because the more you listen to your inner voice, the stronger and more clear your path forward will be. Okay? Likely outcome. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Magician, you are the magician. You have the tools. You have the power. You have it within yourself. The magician heralds new beginning. The magician speaks about you being the creator of your reality. Period. Okay, let's clarify these energies. Please like and subscribe if you found this valuable so far. I would love to have you back here at the heart space. Let's see, Two of Swords. Celebration. There's a gift waiting for you once you take this major step towards your new beginning. That will bring a lot of happiness and celebration in your life. One more. The Rebel, look at that. The Rebel is the Emperor, Aries energy, interestingly enough, <laughs> and guilt. See? There is a lot of guilt that comes with these Two of Swords and this energy. There is a lot of guilt uh, that somebody may put on you, somebody may trigger you, somebody may manipulate you into. You need to find the strength to unshackle you need to find your, the strength to open the cage, I heard. To open the cage. To open the cage into freedom, into happiness. Always, always strive to create a life where you are genuinely happy. There is no reason, there's no sense to live a life where we are constrained, where we are not understood by the people around us where we are constantly in this state of survival mode. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups and the Chariot, the blind spot. Guidance, extreme guidance. You are guided. Please listen to your intuition. Please find stillness. Spend time in nature. Allow spirit to come through. Allow your intuition to speak to you. This internal voice that, once again, from the channel message you keep avoiding, has some important messages for you. Look at that. Fighting and receptivity. You are fighting your own inner guidance. Look at that. 
open up, open up to receiving this guidance and open up to taking action. This message is extremely clear. Three of Wands, let me see the obstacle here. The dream and sorrow. You may have a lot of nightmares throughout this period. Please keep a dream journal. There is a lot of messages coming through your dream space, okay? Also, you have to keep in mind that walking away is not about leaving something behind but about, you know, moving closer to who you are meant to be, to who you are meant to become, closer to your true self. Likely outcome. Flowering the Empress. We have the Emperor and the Empress on the table. This is a major gift, a major offering from the Divine opening up to you. Are you going to take this gift? One more. Wow. Moment to moment, live in the present. There is only now. Okay, and the source. This is the sun. This is the most beautiful and healing energy in any tarot deck. And you are called to embrace this energy. You are called to be happy. You are called to value your happiness and well-being. Look at that. Beyond illusion. You need to transcend these limitations, these conditionings, these false system beliefs. And allow the caterpillar to become a butterfly. Something needs to be done differently. Something needs to change in your life. And I feel that you have been feeling this change coming you have been thinking about it you have been you have been subconsciously planning on it okay and now spirit is asking you to to move away from what's no longer in alignment with you and to come from a place of value come from a place where you know your worth right where you know your self-worth and where you know that you deserve better you deserve peace you deserve happiness. Okay, let's get an angel answer. If you have a question, look at that. Improving health and big happy changes. If you have a question, please say it out loud or in your mind and let's have spirit answer it. Thank you, spirit guides. So what do we have for my beautiful souls? Improving health, okay, so for some of you there has been an obstacle in somebody or yourself needing to improve health so you are able to move forward, to take this uh, risk, okay, this leap of faith. Anything else? Remain positive. And no need to worry. One more I feel. Okay. Wow, you're ready. Yes, you are ready. Beautiful. I love that. Trust. Trust at the bottom. I really hope this message uh, helped you gain some clarity, helped you gain the confirmation that you are looking for. It seemed that this message needed to get out as soon as possible, and so somebody needed to hear this message. What is your soul's truth? What your soul needs to tell you right now? What am I most afraid of losing? Whew, these messages are spot on. As we grow, change and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be. If you were to take the big leap today, would you feel scared of losing love, safety or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself? Today's all action, name the fear and look at the worst case scenario. Find a solution. Take your power back by being certain of who you are and where you are going. Today's mantra, I move forward knowing I am powerful beyond measure. I am loved, I am safe and I belong. I will say this mantra once again. I want you to repeat it with me. 
I move forward knowing I am powerful beyond measure. I am loved, I am safe, and I belong. Thank you so much, beautiful souls. I wish you nothing but the best, and I hope to see you back here at the Heart Space. Ciao.